So let's take a look. <laughs> my, my COVID outfit. I'm in Connecticut. It's snowing. It was snowing outside, so um, your garage is heated. This is one of two 200 watt, 24 volt solar panels that I got from New Power, directly from their website actually. Um, 210 watts to be exact. On Amazon, you can see only the 200 watt panels in it, and uh, the two tens are available on their website directly. Free shipping. And it was on sale. And I just wanted to show the packaging. I've already unpacked the yeah, first one, so I just wanted to show you what this looks like. The video here for the second one. So it's, it's you know, well packed. It's got some pretty thick foam here in the front protecting the glass, and then around the middle and the edges, there's cardboard, which is actually secured into rails. Like that, I just kind of just kind of tuck this extra little piece underneath, which causes this to hold. And then there's foam around the edges here too, so that's how it's all wrapped up. And then the, the cables are tied up here. And a little VIP $150 or more uh, discount, it looks like. So Let's, I've got two of these now. Let's we'll see if there's anything else I want to buy. <laughs> but pretty good packaging job. These arrived in perfect condition. The boxes were, you know, normal wear and tear for shipment. And they got here pretty quick, um, actually sooner than uh, it said it was going to arrive. I believe it came from California and I'm in Connecticut, so it came clear across the, the U.S. in less than a week. It was just a, it was like three or four days or something like that. So. Let's get these outside and we'll hook them up to the system I've been working on and because it's below freezing outside or so, we should get some pretty good um, current and amperage out of these, current and amperage, and those are both the same thing. We'll get some pretty good current out of these, <clears throat> hopefully more than uh, 210 watts actually, um, as the sun gets closer to noon. It's probably 9 o'clock I'm guessing right now, so let's get these placed outside. And, Take a look at how they perform. I'm going to put these in series um, because I have a 48 volt battery system and the specs on the back here. I know you're not really going to see this on there, but the the, uh, the peak operating voltage is 33.5 volts. So in series, I should have about 67 volts, which is sufficiently higher um, than my 50 something volt battery. Um, ideally, I would have my panel set up to be uh, more like twice the voltage of the battery, but that would mean I would need three or four of these in series. Right now, I only want two, so but this should, this should suffice. Um, the peak operating current is 6.2 amps. Uh, the short, uh, sorry, the open circuit voltage is just under 40 volts. So you got to keep that in mind when you're hooking this up to your solar charge control. What's you know, with with two of these in series, my open uh, circuit voltage uh, at standard temperature, by the way, is going to be 40 volts. Because it's so cold outside, it's going to be higher than this. So you do have to pay attention to your open circuit voltages with respect to the lowest uh, temperature you're going to see for your area. Um, and you can usually use the ash rate tables to figure that out for your particular region, and I can uh, link to that in the uh, description below. Short circuit current is 6.5 amps, so the wiring needs to be sized appropriately for that. Um, because these are in series, my amperage is going to remain the same, so my wiring only has to handle 6.5 amps. I'm using MC4 everywhere, which can do 30, so I'm, I'm fine there. So anyway, let's get these hooked up. All right, here is my completely horrible panel setup. Later this weekend, I'm going to uh, build some angle bracket based mounts or you know ground mount if you will uh, to hold these in place but it's not windy today so I'm just gonna lean them up against the truck and not the perfect angle for the Sun either but this will get me going so I wanted to show you what's happening here you can see my two wires coming in that's coming in or you know going into the solar charge controller in the basement behind me 
And I just wanted to make a couple of notes. If you're gonna be, if you're new to hooking up solar, there's a couple of things to pay attention to. You know, first, you've, you gotta know if you're gonna be hooking up in parallel or series. Since I'm in series, I don't need any special adapters, but if you're doing things in parallel, um, there are cables uh, that they make, Y cables that they make, so that you can hook the panels up in, in parallel. Um, but the thing that I wanted to show you was a couple of things. Let's see if I can get the shot here. So, here, I've hooked up the, the uh, negative side. Excuse my poor camera work here. <laughs> I've hooked up the negative side going to the charge controller to the negative of this panel and the positive going to the charge controller to the positive of that panel. And then I'm going to use the remaining cable on this and the remaining cable on the other panel and hook them together and that will put them in series. Now the thing to note when you're hooking up panels is these things are in the sun, right? There is live voltage here, right? And this is up to 30 volts per panel DC. That is, that that isn't deadly yet, but with these two in series, that is absolutely deadly. You've got 70, up to approximately 70 volts available to you here. So that's number one. Um, it is relatively difficult to electrocute yourself with this, with these connectors, but as, as you should just treat this stuff with care, right? You obviously don't want to shock yourself, possibly kill yourself or somebody else. So um, the other thing you should not be doing is hooking these together, connecting them under load. So what I've done in the garage, and you'll see that in the next segment, is I've already hooked up the other end of these this cable to a circuit breaker, which is off. So when I hook these panels up, the panels will be live, the voltage will be live all the way into the circuit breaker, but that's safe. So I'm, I'm safe to hook this up now. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll meet you back around at the garage. Okay. A few of the wires coming in from outside to the breaker, which is off into my solar charge controller. It is ready to go. Currently producing zero watts from the panels. So I'm gonna flip this on, just double checking the polarity here. Okay. And we should see, now it's gonna take a little bit of time for the algorithm to figure out how much power it can pull from these panels. When I was showing that previous segment, I forgot that the batteries were full. So what I did was I shut off the breaker to the Quattro so they would stop charging the batteries. And then you can see that the panels are producing power here. I had uh, 80 volts of open circuit voltage actually before it, it uh, started charging, so. That's pretty, that's pretty high. It's, you know, pretty impressive. It's cold outside, so it makes sense. So if I get these panels, panels angled properly, they'll certainly perform better. So I'm going to play around with that and just kind of see what the maximum I can get out of these is just out of curiosity. But so far, so good. I'm putting out 155 watts per panel. Let's see if I can get this up to about 420 watts or so for the, the, uh, the entire system. And, uh, That'd be, that would be a really good sign. So here you can see I'm at 423, 427, 430, and wait for it. I've moved the panels around, angled towards the sun like that, over 500 watts. And this is 420 watts worth of panels. So I'm getting that because it's cold outside, but check it out. And later in the day, towards 10 a.m., 10.30 a.m., you'll see in the screenshot coming up, I got even more than that. So... Check that out, 528 watts.